they didn't want you to know this. Hidden for thousands of years, the ancient book of Enoch reveals the real origins of humanity. What if everything you thought you knew about where we came from was incomplete? You're moments away from discovering the truth that has been intentionally suppressed, a secret that reshapes our entire understanding of human history. For centuries, religious authorities have guarded certain texts, keeping them from the public eye. The Book of Enoch, which predates the establishment of biblical canon, is one of the most intriguing among these texts. So, why was such a profound and ancient work left out of the Bible? What did it contain that was so controversial? Its exclusion was not a mere oversight. It was a deliberate decision by religious authorities. They were concerned that its revelations could contradict traditional teachings possibly challenging long-held beliefs about creation, divinity, and the role of humans in the cosmos. The Book of Enoch is not just a collection of ancient stories. It's a chronicle that explores the intersection of heavenly realms and the human experience, and it contains a narrative that is both mythological and historical. It speaks of divine beings descending to Earth of forbidden knowledge given to mankind, and of how these interactions forever altered the fate of humanity. In this video, we're going to unravel the mysteries hidden within this forbidden book, shedding light on its shocking revelations about humanity's true origins. Prepare to explore a narrative that challenges everything we've been taught. The Book of Enoch begins with a story that few have heard. The story of the Watchers, a group of angels sent to guide and observe humanity. These Watchers were not just ordinary angels. They were celestial overseers, tasked with safeguarding and guiding human development. But instead of protecting mankind and ensuring its spiritual growth, these angels defied their divine purpose. They descended to Earth, drawn by their curiosity and desire, and altered the course of human evolution forever. According to the Book of Enoch, the Watchers became captivated by the beauty of human women. This fascination led them to forsake their heavenly duties and take human wives, leading to the birth of a new race, the Nephilim. But their involvement did not end there. The Watchers imparted forbidden knowledge to their human partners, knowledge that was never meant for human hands. This was not just about simple tools or basic crafts. It was advanced wisdom that delved into the mysteries of the cosmos and the secrets of existence. The Book of Enoch suggests that it was this celestial intervention that set early humans apart from other creatures. The Watchers shared astrology, the art of reading the heavens and predicting events based on celestial patterns. They introduced warfare, teaching humans the art of combat, strategy, and weapon making. They imparted knowledge of alchemy, which included the secrets of metals, potions, and the manipulation of elements. Through this forbidden wisdom, Humans gained abilities that allowed them to reshape their world and dominate it in ways they never could have without this celestial interference. But this transfer of knowledge came at a heavy cost. What began as a mission to enlighten humanity quickly spiraled out of control. Humans, armed with this new power, began to use it for selfish gains leading to conflicts, corruption, and the rise of new and dangerous ideologies. The very fabric of human society began to unravel, and the delicate balance between the divine and mortal realms was threatened. The Watcher's actions introduced a duality into the human experience, a tension between divine aspiration and earthly temptation. 
The Book of Enoch reveals that the consequences of these actions were not just social or political, they were cosmic. The heavens were angered by the Watcher's rebellion, and the events that followed would forever alter the trajectory of human history. From the union of these celestial beings and humans, a new race was born, the Nephilim. Described as giants in size and great in power, the Nephilim were a hybrid race, embodying traits from both the divine and the mortal. But these beings were not merely legends or mythological symbols. The Book of Enoch describes them in vivid detail, portraying them as superior in strength, intellect, and even spiritual capabilities compared to ordinary humans. These giants were not only physically imposing, but also mentally and spiritually gifted. They were the result of a union that crossed the boundaries between the heavenly and earthly realms. The Nephilim were capable of understanding and manipulating the spiritual energies around them, a trait that made them revered and feared by early human societies. They played a key role in reshaping civilizations, building cities and monuments that reflected their divine heritage. But despite their abilities, the Nephilim were not infallible. As their power and influence grew, so did their pride and corruption. They began to see themselves not just as leaders of humanity, but as gods among men. Their domination led to the establishment of a new world order, where they ruled with iron fists and demanded absolute reverence. This growing sense of superiority led to conflicts between the Nephilim and the rest of humanity. The Book of Enoch tells us that these giants were often involved in great battles, where their physical strength and spiritual knowledge gave them a significant advantage. They built vast kingdoms, erected monumental structures, and created complex societies that flourished under their rule. However, these societies were not built on principles of harmony and balance. They were often grounded in oppression and fear. But the Nephilim's ambitions went beyond the material world. With their dual nature, they sought to control both the physical and spiritual realms. They aimed to gain dominion not just over human affairs, but also over the very cosmic forces that shaped existence. In their pursuit of power, they delved deeper into the forbidden knowledge imparted by their celestial ancestors, exploring the mysteries of creation and manipulating the fabric of reality. As their influence grew, so did their threat to the divine order. The heavens watched with growing concern as the Nephilim continued to expand their dominion, risking a cosmic imbalance. This narrative of the Book of Enoch portrays the rise of the Nephilim as a pivotal moment in human history, a time when the boundaries between mortal and divine were blurred and humanity's fate hung in the balance. The Book of Enoch offers a narrative that challenges our understanding of human origins. Traditionally, we've been taught that humanity is either the result of divine creation or evolutionary processes. But according to this ancient text, the truth is far more complex. We are depicted as a hybrid species, the product of a union between earthly creatures and heavenly beings. This revelation presents a startling new perspective on the nature of humanity. In this ancient narrative, humans are portrayed as beings who carry the traits of both their mortal heritage and their divine ancestry. This duality is not just a metaphor, it is a literal description of our origins. The Book of Enoch suggests that the intervention of the Watchers and the birth of the Nephilim left a lasting imprint on the human genome, shaping our spiritual potential and our earthly desires. This idea of a mixed origin implies that humanity is more than just flesh and bone. 
We are, in essence, a fusion of the terrestrial and the celestial, possessing within us the potential to transcend our physical limitations and connect with higher realms of existence. This concept of duality resonates with many ancient traditions that speak of a spiritual dimension within each of us, a connection to the divine spark. The Book of Enoch challenges the notion that humanity is inherently pure or entirely separate from the divine. Instead, it suggests that our origins are deeply intertwined with the celestial beings who came before us. This idea raises profound questions about the nature of our spiritual journey and the purpose of our existence. Are we merely here to live and die, or is there a greater destiny awaiting those who seek to awaken their divine heritage? Is this the reason why the Book of Enoch was hidden away for so long? Did ancient authorities fear that revealing the true origins of humanity would undermine their teachings and shake the foundations of established belief systems? If the truth about our origins was widely known, it might encourage individuals to question the narratives they've been taught and seek a deeper understanding of their spiritual purpose. The idea that humanity is a hybrid race with both earthly and divine roots suggests that we have within us the potential for greatness. But it also implies a responsibility to understand and harness this potential. The Book of Enoch hints that embracing our dual nature is the key to unlocking our spiritual potential and fulfilling our cosmic destiny. As the power and influence of the Nephilim grew, so did their corruption. According to the Book of Enoch, their dominance over humanity led to a period of great turmoil and chaos. The Nephilim were not just warriors and kings. They were also spiritual leaders who sought to control not only the material world, but also the spiritual realms. Their actions threatened the balance of the cosmos, and the heavens watched with increasing alarm. The Great Flood, as described in many ancient cultures, was not merely a natural disaster. The Book of Enoch presents it as a divine reset, a calculated effort to erase the influence of the Watchers and their offspring. It was not simply a punishment for human sin. It was a necessary measure to restore the cosmic order that had been disrupted by the Nephilim's unchecked power. The narrative of the Flood in the Book of Enoch is distinct from traditional biblical accounts. It is depicted not as an act of divine wrath, but as a surgical intervention to remove a race that had become too powerful and too dangerous. The Watchers, who had defied their divine mandate, were bound and cast down, while their offspring, the Nephilim, were destroyed in the floodwaters. But the Flood did not erase all traces of the Watchers' influence. The knowledge they imparted, the secrets they shared, and the impact they had on early human civilization could not be completely wiped away. The Book of Enoch suggests that this forbidden wisdom persisted in hidden traditions, passed down through generations in the form of esoteric teachings and mystical practices. The idea of a cosmic reset raises questions about whether other great disasters in human history might also have been attempts to restore balance in the wake of spiritual corruption. Could it be that the Flood was just one of many events orchestrated to protect humanity from forces beyond our comprehension? This concept challenges our understanding of divine intervention and the role of natural disasters in shaping human history. It suggests that the events described in the Book of Enoch are not merely symbolic tales, but historical accounts of a time when the boundaries between the heavenly and earthly realms were far more fluid. The implications of this narrative are profound. If the Great Flood was a divine effort to restore balance, what does that say about our current state? 
Are there forces at work today seeking to manipulate the cosmic order? And if so, what role do we, as the descendants of a hybrid race, play in this unfolding drama? Why has this story been hidden? Why was the Book of Enoch removed from religious texts and suppressed for centuries? The answer may lie in the profound implications it has on how we see ourselves. If humanity's origins are tied to celestial beings, it challenges everything we've been taught about who we are and where we come from. The Book of Enoch suggests that humanity is not merely a product of natural processes or divine creation, but rather a hybrid race with connections to higher realms. This revelation hints at a spiritual heritage that has been deliberately suppressed. If this knowledge were to become widely accepted, it could lead to a shift in consciousness, a realization that we are more than just physical beings. The narrative of the Book of Enoch implies that the suppression of knowledge is a tool used by those in power to maintain control. By keeping the truth about our origins hidden, they can ensure that people remain spiritually disconnected and unaware of their potential. The idea that we possess a divine spark within us, a connection to the heavenly realm, is a threat to those who seek to dominate through fear and ignorance. Perhaps the most unsettling implication of the Book of Enoch is the notion that we are being kept in the dark about our true origins. If humanity's connection to the celestial realms were revealed, it could lead to a spiritual awakening a collective realization that we are capable of transcending the limitations imposed by our material existence. The implications of this knowledge go beyond mere history or theology. They touch on the core of our existence and our relationship with the universe. The Book of Enoch challenges us to question the narratives we've been taught and to seek a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. If the ancient authorities feared this knowledge, it's worth asking, what else might they be hiding? What other truths have been suppressed to keep us disconnected from our divine heritage? The story of the Book of Enoch is not just a tale of angels and giants. It's a cautionary narrative that warns of the dangers of ignorance and the power of hidden knowledge. This is just the beginning the Book of Enoch holds many more secrets, from prophecies of the end times to revelations about the spiritual realm. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. If you found this video enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into biblical stories and their hidden meanings.